So can you explain to me um, how you would tell a patient how to perform a breast self-exam? Uh, let's start with the circular motion. Um, that's one method. We start on the outer portion of the breast and we go circular and we go towards the inside. And as we go towards the inside, we make sure we keep our hand and we keep going around on each portion until we reach the middle, making sure we cover the entire breast. Then there's the other method where we go from top to bottom, back and forth, until we cover the entire breast. You always want to check under your armpits. The other, uh, the other portion um, that I want to discuss is where you will actually lay down flat on your back. You're going to arch your chest and you put a pillow mid-back. And when you put that pillow mid back, it increases your chest surface area. So that now it is that you are able now to feel your breast up against the chest wall. And with that, you can feel any lumps or changes in your breast. Actually, you can feel central changes underneath your nipple. And that's often missed if you were doing a breast exam standing up in the shower. So I often recommend that women do their breast exam both standing in the shower and also laying on a flat, maybe on the bed or laying down so that at least they have two methods for detecting changes in their breasts. Pick a date in your month, maybe the birthday. If your birthday is the seventh of the month, then the seventh of every month is your breast exam day. And um, don't do it during your period, at least three to three days before your period and three days after your period. So do it any time outside of that window because usually during that time your breast is tender and it's a little bit more engorged because of the hormone changes. And when you do your breast exam religiously or consistently, you get to know your breasts. So when you find a mass, and let's say we follow it up with a diagnostic test such as a mammogram, an ultrasound, and eventually we, let's say it's a highly suspicious mass, and we biopsy it. There's a high chance that, that if it's a breast cancer, it's early. When we get a abnormal mass and we diagnose an early stage cancer, it improves your outcomes. That's a cancer that is most likely to be cured. It increases survival. So doing it, you are helping yourself to be able to be a survivor in case something happens where you develop breast cancer. So don't just wait on an annual mammogram to do the job for you. I have many patients say to me when I ask them, do you do your breast exam? No, I don't touch my breasts. I'm like, why won't you? I teach the husbands to do the breast exam, the boyfriends to do the breast exam. Somebody got to know how the breast feels to say something. And um, I think that is the best thing that can happen. And even mothers, I tell them, teach your daughters. It's very important. Let them know that squeeze your breast. If, you don't ha if you're not pregnant, if you're not nursing, if your breast is having a nipple discharge, it's not normal. Go check it out. I don't care if it's been happening for five years. Go have a comprehensive workup and let your doctor tell you that, okay, everything is benign, everything is okay, there's no abnormal level with your prolactin, there's no abnormal lesion, follow up in a year. But do not ignore any changes with your breasts.